it was disappointing, but I feel like we did the right thing. And well, she went on to say that her big day was almost ruined by something she never thought was possible, but it still wouldn't stop her reaching her goal. And that's because there was a champagne graduation ceremony over the weekend, but then suddenly guns were drawn after a verbal argument. Two people were arrested in WCI 3's Jamal Williams has the details. The moment was definitely shocking to those in attendance. The 23 students say they couldn't believe what happened. I talked to the valedictorian who says it was nerve wracking, but not enough to stop her from walking on stage. Walking across the stage for a graduation is a big moment. Doing it as a valedictorian is an honor. One girl from Champaign knows exactly what that feels like. It took me a minute to make the speech. I didn't really know what to say at first, but once I like got like the first paragraph, I just, it just was going to come to me and I just couldn't stop. Vermaya Burton completed the youth program at the Housing Authority of Champaign County an alternative school where people ages 17 through 24 work six months getting hands-on experience in building, renovating, and designing houses. Burton and her 22 classmates were ready to be rewarded for their hard work, but then... I was really like, what in the world is going on? The graduation at I Hotel spiraled into a guns-drawn situation. U of I police say a verbal dispute started it, causing people to run out. It was like kind of scary a little bit. I didn't know what was really going on. Everybody was saying something different. Executive Director Lily Walton says she was heartbroken knowing everything her students did to get to this point. They worked so hard to, you know, really pull themselves up and get out of these bad situations and get out of these bad crowds for, um, you know, members of the audience to bring in that type of um, energy uh, was really crushing. Despite the ordeal they went through, Walton and her students were determined to finish what they started. We did just kind of like a small ceremony with them, um, just let them walk the stage. And Burton finally got to say her speech. She says the moment was a culmination of everything she and her classmates went through together. I learned to like be accountable, hold myself accountable to things and be responsible when it comes to certain things and like make myself, push myself to do it. And U of I police also pulled over two people in relation to the incident. Inside was one woman and a teenager. The woman got noticed to appear in court for carrying a concealed weapon, and the teenager was arrested for having a gun. Back to you. All righty, Jamal, thank you.